I'm 32 now, so I've had an eye on what I'm doing outside of rugby for, for quite some time. Um, and I applied for the course at Oxford, um, half expecting to not get on even. Um, and then pretty much I found out in February that I'd got a place at Oxford to do the PhD and that pretty much as soon as I, as soon as I got the, the, the offer, I, I knew that I had, it was an opportunity that I couldn't turn down. Yeah. This will be my third degree. So my first one was in maths and economics um, okay. at the Open University. It took me nine years. So I started that when I was about 20, wow. um, finished it a couple of years back. And then I'm currently finishing off a master's in applied neuroscience, which has quite a, a heavy focus on mental health, uh, which is what, what kind of gave me the interest to, to conduct the research in, in athlete mental health. Like most people, I think I had um, the start of my career was, was fantastic. I was on top of the world for possibly the best part of 10 years. I, I made my debut in the Premiership um, when I was 18, 19 and pretty much played first team throughout that. Um, and then for me, it was about five years ago, I, I experienced out of nowhere um, crippling depression. Um, <clears throat> and looking back five years ago, it's very different to how it is now. So the RPA have done some incredible work, um, the Lift the Weight campaign. Um, and things like that to change the environment and change the way that, that um, mental health is, is talked about and, and, and we each approach it. I think there's still a lot of work to do um, in different, different ways, hence why I want to get in um, to what I want to get into. But certainly my interest in doing what I've done comes from struggling. I'm definitely planning on playing for, for Oxford and okay. hopefully I get selected for that. Yeah, and uh, yeah, I, 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 I've had lots of people congratulating on my retirement. I'm technically not retiring. Yeah, uh, I'm definitely... Um, I'm, I'd definitely like to play a little bit more professionally. I'm on 196 Premiership games, so I kind of I want to get four, I want to get four more in um, somewhere. I'd absolutely love to come back, whether it would be in whatever capacity, whether it's cut short term cover or anything like that. I'd, I'd be very happy to. Personally, thinking about the try that I scored, the winner against Leicester, is always nice. <laughs> um, and then. Uh, I, I have mixed feelings about the Premiership final because it was such a good experience, mm -hmm. but just losing in the manner that we did, I, I just still can't. I imagine in the future it's something that I look back on and be proud of, mm -hmm. but at the moment it still hurts a bit too much. I came to Wasps, um, I guess a very different person, um, and, and things that have happened away from rugby and things that have happened while I've been here. Mm -hmm. um, I've changed a lot personally, um, the things that I value now are um, maybe a lot more wholesome than the things that I valued when I first arrived. Yeah. Um, I feel a lot happier and a, more, a lot more content within myself and um, I've been very lucky just from the people that I signed that I've ended up playing with a lot of my really close friends, people that I was friends with at Sale, people that I was friends with at Leeds and mm -hmm. um, some of the coaches I played with um, years ago back at Leeds. So it's really nice to, to go on such an important journey with people who you are genuinely friends with and genuinely close with and there's, um, there's several, probably close to 10 people who I, I know that I'll be very good friends with for the rest of my life at Wasps.